Greetings everyone. In this video, I'm going to be talking about your five frequencies that make up your individual frequency range. Greetings. This infinite source truth is made possible by the generous contributions and support of viewers like you. Please consider making a contribution now. Thank you. So what are the five frequencies? First of all is your highest frequency and that is your source fractal frequency that is entrapped in your soul. It is your soul frequency. And that could be likened to the tuning fork that you want all of your other frequencies to attune to. That's the goal. That is where you ultimately want to be, is in harmony and in tune with that frequency. Now, you have a physical frequency. Your body has a physical frequency. You have organs in your body and they create and emit a sound. Those organs and your body is a frequency. Now, if you are obese, that is a lower frequency state. That is not a high frequency. And that is going to hold you back. But don't be deterred because if you remove the animal meat, flesh, blood, fish, and anything with a heart from your food consumptions, the weight will melt off, even without exercise. Exercise will benefit you a little, but you don't have to work hard at exercise to lose that weight if you have removed the animal meat, flesh, blood, fish, and anything with a heart from your diet from your food consumption. And I don't like the term diet because the first three letters of the word are die. And truly, uh, so many source players are dying and killing their source self connections because of their food choices. Next is your emotional frequency. And these can be all over the place given the moment of the day. Your emotions, you do have control over them. That you have full control over your emotions, what you choose to feel. These are not thoughts that are put into your minds. You're presented with events and situations around you that will affect your emotions. And you have a choice of whether to feed into that situation and give your emotions, your energy in motion over to that situation or circumstance that you're experiencing. Usually it is the emotional frequency that is the most unbalanced and unstable of all of the frequency levels and quicker to change and fluctuate than the other frequency levels. Then there is your conscious mental frequency. This is what you think on, what you believe, okay, what you believe, what you think, those things that you believe, it is also your intent. It is your mental intent, that frequency. Now, by this, I'm also going to include, if you start to discover that you are not happy with things the way they are in your life, and things just don't seem right, you are consciously becoming aware and you start searching and seeking the answer to that question. This is the frequency that brought you to this information that you are watching right now. You could still be eating meat. You could still be in all the lower frequencies, uh, smoking, drinking alcohol, doing drugs. You could be there. But that mental intent frequency is what is the match to this information. Because you are searching and you are ready to hear the information. It is that frequency that has made you a match to this information. And then the last of the five frequency groups is your subconscious. Now, your subconscious is the most difficult of all of them to know because you see it is the enforcer. It is what takes your beliefs in your conscious state of being 
and makes you pay whenever you do something that is against your belief system. This is why the karma and sin programming has got to go. And you need to be set free from that karma and sin programming. And the only way you can do that is by dealing with, with your subconscious. You have to remove it. Otherwise, you will continue to be having to pay for those things that your subconscious says that you are doing wrong because you believe it in your conscious state that you are doing it wrong and it's your subconscious's job to make you pay. You see, your subconscious is what deals with your heart beating, your blood flowing, your breath, your breathing, uh, your motor skills, your being able to pick up your hand and, you know, move it around. It's what picks up your feet and causes you to move forward. If you do something and you believe in sin and karma and your subconscious's job is to say, oh, you sinned, okay, you're going to have to pay. And through that, it can cause sickness in your body. It can cause dis-ease in your body. It can cause you to trip and fall. It can cause you to miss a flight or whatever. It controls so much of what you experience and do in this life. It is the deepest, innermost part of your being. And it is where all of your cellular memories are held. Everything that has ever happened to you, everything that is in your script, everything is held in that subconscious, deepest part of yourself. You need to work at balancing all of these frequencies so that they are in harmony with each other. This should be where you want to go because that is what is going to unlock your abilities and empower you to be the powerful creator that you are. It is when all of these frequencies get within a harmonious range to each other that you then begin to unlock all your talents and abilities and your hidden empowerment. And you stop giving your energy away to the matrix. And you start putting those energies in your creative abilities and not flowing them into the matrix system. So that should help you comprehend how you are a frequency match and on what level, which one of those you're a frequency match to, to have access to this um, information that I'm sharing. And why you need to work on all of these in order to become whole and complete and to be able to complete the inner alchemy, which previously would have been required for you to escape this matrix game and to have won it and escaped for yourself. Again, no animal meat, flesh, blood, fish, or anything with a heart. No smoking, drinking spirits. That goes for beer, wine, hard alcohol, liquor, moonshine, any of it. Homemade wine and recreational drugs. All of these different drugs and hallucinogenics and experiencing drugs, they do not have any place in your body or in your regimen if you are interested in being the powerful creator that you want to be. Get rid of them so that you can experience your best life yet. Now, is everything that I have shared here infinite source truth only and not what I think or believe? And that is a yes from my program Pendulum and abundance, health, and prosperity to you. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe, like, and share this video. If you found this life changing, please consider giving a contribution and consider supporting monthly or giving a single gift via PayPal. Links are in the description box below. And be sure to check out these links for guided self-hypnosis meditations.